everyone, Bria here from Etched Actuarial, and today we are discussing a common question, am I too old to become an actuary? And of course, if you've listened to any other videos or followed me for a while, you probably already know the answer. The answer is absolutely no, um, you are not too old. I've heard of so many people becoming actuaries after starting in their 30s, their 40s and 50s. Really, if you want to be an actuary, you know it would be a good career for you, then you need to go for it and you need to stop letting your age hold you back. I've heard of people becoming actuaries after spending years as an engineer. There's a lot of math teachers that decide to become actuaries. Underwriters decide to become actuaries. It's a really awesome career. There's a good salary. There's so many benefits from it. Uh, stability, lots of opportunity for advancement. You get to use math every single day. So there's so many reasons to become an actuary and I do not want you to let an age hold you back from like getting all those benefits. If you want this career, it is possible you can make it happen. Uh, just as one quick example, I recently worked with a rocket engineer. So he was designing rockets, okay? And he wanted to become an actuary. He decided that he wanted to change careers and become an actuary. So many people might think that uh, that's not really related. It's gonna be hard to get into the actuarial field but he did it, okay? He, he decided that he was gonna be an actuary. We worked on his resume. We made sure that his resume fully depicted all of his skills and assets um, that would be relevant and beneficial for the actuarial career. And then he transitioned. Um, he didn't exactly get into an actuarial role yet. He got into an underwriting position, but it's really, really easy to make the transition from an underwriting role into an actuarial position because those two, positions work fairly closely with each other. They're very um, involved in the same types of work. So if you get into an underwriting position, it's fairly easy to get into an actuarial role later. So I'm confident that in about six months, I'm going to be hearing that he was able to transition into his ultimate goal of becoming an actuary. If this is your dream, it's possible. I don't care what your prior experience is, I don't care how old you are, you can make it happen. You just have to be committed. And that is pretty much the, the biggest priority. You have to be committed to becoming an actuary because it is a long journey. Usually it takes about five to 10 years for someone to pass all the actuarial exams. And you don't have to pass them all before you start working. Actually, it's not recommended to do that, but it's a long journey. It's going to take you some time. Another thing you have to consider is when are you going to get your studying in? And sometimes getting back those study habits is really hard, especially if you've been out of school for many, many years. So I suggest you sit down and figure out exactly when you're going to get your studying in every single day. I usually recommend aiming to have about three hours of studying per day if you want to move along at a fairly good pace. But for some people, that's just not possible. And that's okay. You can take less studying study hours each day and just extend your journey a little longer. That's totally fine. You just have to figure out how you're going to stay consistent with your studying and when you're going to figure it out. Lastly, another thing I want to caution you about is that you may have to take a salary cut because you are transitioning into a completely new field. It's probably something that you don't have a ton of experience in, even though it, like if you do, that's great. But if you don't have much relevant experience, then you have to expect that you're going to take a bit of a salary cut, especially if you've been working in your current position for a long time or your current field for a long time. But that's okay because when you get into an actuarial role, generally your salary is going to increase fairly quickly. A lot of the time, actuarial employers will give you a raise just for passing exams, which is pretty awesome. So that means that you will be able to get sal salary increases consistently while you're passing exams. And hopefully that will get you back up to the salary that you currently have. And the answer is absolutely yes. It's actually a good thing that you have another job and you can practice this while you are still working in that position because when you trans transition into an actuarial role you're going to have to learn how to work full-time and study for actuarial exams while fitting in anything else you have going in your life 
so you can continue to work in your current job and just study for actuarial exams on the side. And then once you pass two to three exams, you can start looking for a full time actuarial position. And then the transition will be fairly easy for you in terms of your studying because you'll be used to studying after work or maybe before work. You'll be used to just fitting in study time. So you won't have to worry too much about making that transition when you start working full time in an actuarial role. So yes, it's definitely possible to do this while you are working in your current job. If you are someone that has experience that's related to the actuarial career, so maybe you've dealt with a lot of numbers and money, like maybe you were bookkeeping or maybe you were a math teacher, usually math teachers can make the transition fairly easily. But if you, so if you have that kind of experience already, then that's great. You can start first by studying for an actuarial exam. So you'll probably pick exam P or exam FM first. Those are the two easiest exams and they're the ones I highly recommend you start with. If you are someone that doesn't have much related experience, that just experience that doesn't really fit with the actuarial career at all, and let me know down below in the comments if you want me to help you figure out if you do have that experience. But if you don't, then you're probably going to want to start by getting a stepping stone position. And this is a job that's related to the actuarial career. It could be something like an underwriter or a data analyst like we talked about, maybe something in finance or insurance or maybe bookkeeping, anything with a lot of data entry can be good too. So there's a lot of different types of positions that are related to the actuarial career. So again, if you are working in one of those types of positions now or you're just not 100% sure, let me know in the comments down below and I'll help you try to figure that out. So for most of you, you probably are going to have some somewhat related experience. So in that case, exams will be first for you. There's absolutely no restrictions on age when you're taking actuarial exams. You can start taking them when you're 15, 14, or whatever, or you can start taking them when you're 50, 60, whatever you want. Um, the SOA, the Society of Actuaries, does not have any restrictions on that. The most important thing when you do start taking actuarial exams though is that you need to have a good calculus background. So if it's been a while since you've studied any calculus, you probably want to go back and review what you learned in the past because just to get your knowledge back and all that kind of stuff. I'll put a link in the comments of this video about where you can go to figure out calculus again to get resources on helping you learn calculus. I have a really good blog post all about that. Um, probably the number one place I would recommend though is Khan Academy. It's really good in providing detailed videos about calculus and it goes from very beginner all the way to more advanced calculus concepts. So that's probably the best place for you to start. Highly recommend that one. Uh, again, I will put a link in the comments down below. Well, yeah, it probably will be hard to find a job because it's hard for regular people to find a jo an actuarial job. So even if you didn't have that age factor, it's going to be difficult. So um, I wouldn't say it's going to be so much more difficult for someone that's starting later in life, but it, it really doesn't matter where you are on your actuarial journey or where you are in your life. It's going to be difficult to get an actuarial job. However, there are lots of things that you can do to become a better and better candidate. That's passing exams, getting technical skills, making sure you have relevant experience. Those three things are really going to help you stand out. Now, some companies may be specifically looking for a recent grad. They're not going to hire you. Or maybe for some reason or another, they're looking for someone that's younger. That's okay, but those aren't the companies that's going, that are going to hire you. And that's okay. You just need to find the companies that are willing to hire someone that has more life experience, more career experience, and is ready to do whatever it takes to succeed in the career. So you just have to be persistent. You have to not give up. You just have to keep going for your goals. Okay. 
So that is all. If you are looking for someone to help you on this actuarial journey, I would love for you to join my Actuary Accelerator community. This is a group of tons and tons of other people that are going through this exact journey right now. They have started from the beginning stages and they work their way up and, and they're becoming top actuarial candidates and getting jobs. So I would love for you to check that out. I think it would be really, really beneficial especially for someone in your situation where you're starting earlier or later in your life or later in your career and you just want to do this as quick as possible well the accelerator community gives you all the resources you need to do that plus i am there as your mentor to help you through this and the the group we have in there is so supportive everyone else is just really motivating and it's a, an awesome community to be a part of if you want to be an actuary so i'd love for you to check it out i will put a link to that down below in the comments, like always, and I will hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.